1939, the world was getting ready to enter a new war, the Second World War. Allied and Axis powers were aligning and the unsettled feeling of an entire world going to battle could be felt across the globe. The United Kingdom began preparing its people for the inevitable loss and bloodshed war would bring. New threats, new targets, new weaknesses shone bright. The UK government created the Ministry of Information to help lead the good news propaganda. They settled on a simple message, keep calm and carry on. Subtle yet profound, these posters were plastered across each city. A message of reassurance to the public that although bombs would be flying by above their heads, fear was never the answer. Cowering and refusing to leave your house was no option. In generations before, we were called away from our homes to fight strange battles on foreign land, give up our freedom so others back home could prosper, to leave our families and everything we knew behind for the promise of preserving independence and liberty. They went out onto the battlefield. They went out against a haze of gunfire and landmines, knowing the risk. They went out. This virus has made us all vulnerable, not to sickness, but to government overreach. The following measures are going into effect immediately. The left-wing Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have the American people right where they want them, stuck at home and dependent on the government. People are concerned about their, of course, their health and the health of their children. Uh, if they are losing their jobs because nobody's coming to the restaurant or whatever it is, then uh, we have to be there with some help for them. It's evident from every aspect of the last few months that our way of life is in jeopardy. Freedom is in jeopardy. If you have to, for instance, go to the grocery store or pharmacy or another essential business, you might not be able to get in if you don't have on a face covering. Which brings us back to 1939. Everyone should carry his gas mask, just as the civil defense services do. Your mask is of the greatest importance to you, so have it tested regularly by the warden. Learn to put it on quickly, too. What most people don't know is that the slogan, keep calm and carry on, was actually the third option in a set of potential posters. But one of them seems pretty fitting for the pandemic war that we're currently facing. Freedom is in peril. Defend it with all your might. During the brunt of the war in 1942, Prime Minister Winston Churchill visited the United States and spoke before Congress. The message he brought with him was one of hope and perseverance for the American people. He declared, Here we are, together, defending all that to free men is dear. We are the masters of our fate. This message rings true, whether in times of war or pandemic. So I urge you, and anyone listening, hashtag go out, stay out. Because once again, our freedom is in peril. We must defend it with all our might.